Welcome, welcome, welcome to day 217, making Songbringer. And um, today I'm working on items, lots of item combos. I'm slowly working through my list of high priority and low priority items to complete uh, before I release the advanced alpha version. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, never mind. Run with that building there. Yeah, so there's the alpha version coming out this month. Oh, looks like I broke it. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, so I'm going to keep on working on what I'm working on here. Um, and then I'll be showing what's what's new and stuff. Basically, I'm working on items and item combinations right now. So I've gone through, so far this morning, I've gone through and kind of simplified these items. I made it so um, it's just easier to localize these and they have more of a uh, unified naming scheme and their colors are simpler and everything so now I'm working on making all these cool combos like being able to combine the top hat with fire to create a fire a flaming top hat a poisonous top hat creating all these cool things like fire itself ice lightning poison fear um, there's gonna be bombs too, different kinds of bombs there's a fire bomb lightning bomb poison bomb fear bomb all these things are going to be pretty neat to have finished. So the first steps in all this is getting these icons to be drawn. So I'll need to like, you know, work on these icons today. And yeah, and then get the combos to go too. So I think the error that I was just experiencing there was this. I just added quarters. So life containers can be, there's a quarter life containers. So these need to be added in. That's all right. Let's add eight of those. That's all we have so far. I'm thinking maybe you actually will have more health containers. Um, it might be, might be more fun to have more of them. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One through five six seven eight. One through five six seven eight. Cool, cool. Serious creeper, what's up, man? Hello, CS Amorali. Welcome to the stream, guys. I'm just working on items here, working on combos and drawing new items and getting existing items to be even cooler. Like, like the bombs can be a, like a poison bomb or whatever, and the top hats can be fire top flaming top hat stuff like that oh it's going great man yeah Let me, i wonder if i can show you the if this will work the build now so i can show you what's new lots is new yeah how is it? it's working sweet um there's a new inventory so you can like it's got separate gear and skills um there's what new items are there? Oh, there's the flame. Have you seen the the, the ghost swords? The ghost swords are pretty sweet, so you can ah, that was that was a kamikaze blob. Um, so the ghost swords create like fire or like here's a little. You can create fire with the flaming ghost sword. You can create ice, or you can freeze enemies with the ice ghost sword. There's a lightning ghost sword. I think I'm headed in the right direction to show you. Nope, nope, it's over this way. Some other cool stuff too. Hey, what's up, Alex Pita? Arcane. Oh, combat combo system? Sort of. Okay, cool, yeah, the swords, yeah. Yep, lots of swords. Um, Oh, you can trample grass. That got done yesterday, so I can trample over grass, and sometimes you get you can find diamonds. Oh, see, there's a diamond. Woo! Nice. There's these cliff faces here. Ooh, that's an interesting level. I wonder where this is gonna be down here or up here. Looks like there's some grass. Lots of little bugs to fix up, but yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah, there's a save icon now. That's just something really small, but um, working on new art schemes and things like that. I'll show you some other cool stuff. 
Nice, yeah, lightning. Oh, comboing hits. Oh, that's interesting. Alien, yeah, what's up, man? Welcome to stream. Oh, no. Arcore, what's up? Yeah, there's one other cool area. I'll show you that. There's this new area that's sort of supposed to be the entrance to a new dungeon. Nice, right on. You're right in Java? Cool. So, yeah, here's like an entrance to a new dungeon. This will be sort of like a new art scheme and new, um, it'll, each, each dungeon will have its own sort of entrance look and then it'll also have its own style inside. So here's kind of what, whoops, there's grass in here too. You know what? I think this looks like trampled grass already. It might be a bug that it's putting the same trampled grass in multiple areas. I bet you there's going to be, yep, same grass right here. So it's putting the same saved sprite here. But anyways, this is sort of like a look for a new dungeon too. This one's going to be brighter than it is. So like you're seeing it kind of dark. So all I got to do is increase the levels shader a little bit for these levels and these will look a lot better. So that's going to be one one thing on the list too. But um, basically what I'm working on is all these like high priority items I've got to finish before the alpha gets released this month. So I got two weeks basically, well week and a half now. Um, to finish all this and hopefully I can get that done Jonah one nine. What's up, man? Yeah, and it's all based on color schemes too so I can actually do that in data so you're seeing that level kind of purple, but All that can be specified in data also foes are all data Foe combo so like here's a combination of blob zero and blob three and this is, you know, this will place this on the overworld nicely. So, yeah, lots of data-driven improvements, too. What's up, Niceros? Uh, if you want access to the alpha, you either had to back it at the Kickstarter um, from the Kickstarter, or you can pre-order it. Well, look at this. Safari? <laughs> What's up, Safari? I've never seen a Safari window like that. Whoa, check it out. Look, Safari's messed up. Oh my god. What happened to Safari? Yeah, so anyways, it's just songbringer.com slash pre-order if you, if you want to get access to the alpha. And it's it's the $64 level. So sorry it's kind of tr kind of pricey, but you're getting access way earlier than anybody else. So, or then most people. So then there's there's also the $32 level and that gets you access to the beta and then the $16 level just gives you the game when it comes out. What's that? You got the transported, they are not on top of a pillar. Looks like they are like high pillars. Oh. Oh yeah, I can work on the art for that and make them look a little more appropriate. What's up, caviar? Yeah, so I'm so I'm working on item combos right now. So these are things where you can combine two items and create something else. So for example, I got some new things here in the list that can be combos. For example, the top hat. And this is kind of a this today's video is kind of a spoiler alert. So if you don't want to know what items can be combined. If you rather figure, you know, find that out for yourself in the game, then you might want to turn this off. You might just want to not watch this video because basically I'm going to be working on what combos can be created. So, <clears throat> yeah, Dodgeball, exactly. Crafting. So, for example, the top hat can craft with fire to create a flaming top hat or ice or poison. Um, the bombs too. The bombs are going to be sweet where you can create a fire bomb, a lightning bomb, poison bomb, and a fear bomb. Hold on, it sounds like we got a pizza man.
right. Okay. So yeah, the other thing I want to mention before I forget is that um, this weekend we're going down to a wedding in Southern California. So I ain't going to be streaming this weekend, but I'll be back Monday. So <laughs> Nico's here again. All right, Alien. Cool, man. What's up, Grim Gary? Yep, Droid Smith today for sure. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be making art and stuff like that too. So like I'm gonna be making little icons and stuff for the new items and stuff. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, cool. I'll definitely take a look at that. Nice, this arrow's cool, man. What's up, blood? Nostrobot. Yo. Right? You just got that. You got the. We must be on some subconscious connection. Whatever the Droid Smith is being worked on. All right, yeah. So let's do this. Let's create these combos. Um, I'm going to copy. These are all the combos so far. So let's go and make sure these are all hooked up in here as combinations. So this the way these combos work is you have a resultant item and you have a pair of items which combine to create that. All right, Nostrum, thanks, man. Cheers. Lip was in, yeah, art making today for sure. I'll be making like lots of these kinds of arts and stuff. All right, so we've got the fire blink. That's a combination of fire and the blink, of course. Uh, we got the ice blink. That's a combo of ice and the blink. There's, what other blinks are there? Fire, ice, lightning, and fear. So also, I'm trying to make these a little bit unbalanced, just slightly off kilter so that basically, like check this out, you can have, you, the, the top hat combines with fire, ice, and poison, but not fear and not lightning. So also the bombs combine with fire, lightning, poison, and fear. So it's kind of a balance, right? Some of, the, some of these elemental items combine with some items and some of them don't combine. The only thing that combines with everything is actually the ghost sword. Um, so that's good. That should be kind of at a slight interest to the game, I'm thinking. Oh, man. So we got the fear blink. Top hats. Okay, we got the fire, ice, and poison top hat. Yeah, I know it is kind of a shame I have to release soon, but the good news is I will be releasing tons of free updates for probably a whole year. So there will be a lot of improvements made to the game. And I just, you know, the one thing is I've got to get at least stubs in here so that um, I have enough stuff that I could flesh out and add to the game for a whole year. I'm hoping I can, basically I'm hoping I can make it so that it doesn't break the game every time I release you know something new I don't want to like I don't want the worlds to change very much basically the random the random map generator I want to always kind of be the same and then yeah so the combos might change a little bit worlds might change a little bit as the as the year goes by but after the whole first year it should um, it should level out right and there shouldn't be as many changes to the game so after the first year people will kind of be able to like put the wikis in stone. I'm sure that people are making wikis and stuff. J lists, what's up? Yeah, not not soon. No, it's not soon. It's actually in in um January is probably going to be the first release for Steam. So, yeah. Yeah, totally. Free updates. No, there's never going to be any DLCs, never any in co in-game content you have to purchase. I just think that's kind of lame. 
Yes. No, you cannot switch between the ghost swords because you actually have to craft your ghost sword into a fire sword or whatever. And once you've crafted it, it's permanently changed. So yeah, you can only do one of these. So you can get multiple of like fire, ice, lightning, the actual elements. You might have two fires, for example, but you can combine one with your ghost sword and one with maybe your top hat or something like that. So <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so we're you're talking about infinite combinations. Um, you're talking about randomizing the combos. Ah, uh, randomizing the combos. See, the 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 only problem with randomizing the combos is I would have to create a piece of art for and animations and lots of work basically for every one of the combos. I guess what I could do is make it so that there's a combo for every item. So bombs would have every one of these, fire, lightning, poison, fear, all that. And then in some worlds, it would only have three of those combos available. I guess that's, that would kind of make it random, but it wouldn't be quite infinite. What's up, Mighty Ness? Yeah, the plan today is I'm, I'm making item combos, so and I'm also going to be doing art for um, creating like just different little items and stuff. I know, yeah, yep. Just in this, January is actually really close. Yeah, yeah, I get you. I get you. Yeah, the crafting the, for the crafting to be random you would have to have different combos. So unless unless you're thinking of something else that I'm not quite understanding, maybe that's it. Got a flaming top hat. Ice top hat. If anybody's just joining the stream, today is kind of a spoiler alert. This is showing off what kind of item combos you'll be able to do in the game. Divergence Multigaming. Would I recommend C++ to start games dev on a hobby basis? It depends on your programming skill. Do you already know any programming languages? Because um, I, I can definitely give you a lot of recommendations, but I want to know what is your what you are like as an individual right now. So what what's what would you say your programming skill is on a scale of 1 to 10 at this point? You so you're saying you know Java? Well, if you know Java already, why would you why would you switch to C++? Yeah, totally. These are these are more simple languages than uh, C++ to pick up for sure here. Lua, Python, Java even is a little more simple than C++ because it it um it's just it's like higher level. It does better things for you. C++ is a little bit lower level in the sense that you you have more manual control over stuff, but that also means you have to kind of be more pragmatic and stuff. You oh, so you're already at an intermediate level. Well, yeah. I don't know. My recommendation is if you already know a language, what's the point of learning another one? <laughs> unless you really, unless it's a really, really important thing for you to learn, you know. I personally, yes, I would definitely recommend learning C, C plus plus to anyone. But it all depends on what you, what you're gelling with, what you're, what excites you, what like, what works for you, what what you resonate with, you know. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, so you know there's an ice sword, but you don't know how to craft it. But there's limits, like you can't create an, an ice sword with fire. Uh, I'm not quite following you there, because the, the ghost swords don't combine that way. The ghost sword, you get you get the ghost sword originally, right? This is one item you're going to get. And then you also get, you can also get fire, ice, lightning, poison, or fear. These are one other separate item. The fire sword is a combo of the ghost sword 
and fire. And so there's only one way to combine that. You couldn't you couldn't ever you once you've crafted a fire sword, you can't go and craft craft the fire sword with it with anything else. You can't change it. Once it's a fire sword, that's the final item. Ice sword is also a final item. Lightning sword, poison sword, fear sword, all these are final things. You can't ever craft them again. Oh, just noticed that their ghost sword needs to be craftable. Does that make sense? Uh, I get I, I can see a way that you could do random combos. So I like that idea. It's a good idea, caviar. I'll even put it on the ideas list here. Yeah, it might. If you want to do random combos, yeah. Uh, Divergence Multigaming, there's live GDX. Yeah, that's yeah, that's exactly what I was saying there a while ago. Yeah, the combos would be random, right. But the items themselves are static, exactly. Yeah, we're on the same page. All right. Cool. Um, all right, so we got top hat, fire, ice, and poison for now. Cool. That's done. Now we want to be able to craft some bombs. So there's going to be a fire bomb, sort of like a, a fiery explosion combined with your bomb. So it kind of like spawns some fire entities. For a moment, um, there's going to be what else? The fire, lightning, poison, and fear bombs. Lightning bombs going to be freaking sweet. I don't even want to say what I got in mind for that because I just want to do it. You guys will see. Lightning. <clears throat> yes, exactly. Serious creeper. Yeah. Once you have a fear sword, it can't ever have fire or lightning added to it. So yeah, it's a, you have to, that way as a player, you have to think about what you're going to craft, right? You might find fear and you might find fire. Which one do you want to craft with your ghost sword though? Because actually the, the fear sword is actually going to be a little bit stronger than the fire sword so that it's tempting for you to like, you know, as, as far as its damage goes. But the thing about the fire sword is it's cool because it can sometimes randomly hit an enemy a few times if the enemy happens to get knocked back but yet can't get knocked back very far, so they they get kind of stuck on the fire a little bit. Cool. CPP with GLFW? Nice. <laughs> yeah. You like the lightning. That's cool. We got a poison bomb. That's kind of like... Uh, you know, kind of self-explanatory. It just like explodes, but yet there's sort of like poison everywhere too. So enemies get a little bit of damage over time. The fear bomb I'm thinking is going to be something that um, makes the enemies kind of go crazy for a minute. So it damages them and it kind of like confuses them or makes them run away or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> All right, yeah, well now we need the ghost sword combos. So the ghost sword, the fire sword. <laughs> At first. It's a combo of fire and the ghost sword. Oh, the feels bad, man. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I had, I had nostril. What's the not nostril bot, but um, nightbot. I had nightbot for a minute. Then I was like, I got lazy and I didn't want to 
go and click on Nightbot to join my stream every day because I didn't really use Nightbot very much. So I think I tried Better TV once though. Doesn't it like change people's name colors a little bit better and stuff? Alright, fire, ice, lightning sword. Poison and fear. Oh, it's a browser plugin. Oh. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, better to TV. To TV. Oh, man. One thing I found that's freaking awesome is uh, micro block. Oh, I, didn't, I never knew you could block ads on the internet so rad it's so awesome to like have micro block now thank you people that made micro block that's a freaking awesome thing got fire ice lightning poison fear we got the fire blink ice blink lightning blink fear blink cool all right these are the autumn combos for now like I said, maybe maybe later on I can add randomized combos so that basically the top hat would be able to combine with everything and then only certain combos would be possible in certain worlds. So that's that's a cool idea from Caviar. In fact, I gotta credit you here. I'm trying to remember to credit people's. Yeah, I, I took a look at um, both of them, and it looked like Microblock was a little more efficient, so I just went with that. But yeah, I heard Adblock's great, too. I know, how did I? God, how did I? Yeah, I know. Except for this streamer, I don't really care. I'm not, a, I'm not about the ads, man. I'm just about sharing with you guys and creating a following for my game. So I don't really care about making money from my streams or YouTube videos. Wow, all right. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's a good option, right? You can buy Turbo so that you can support streamers still. That's cool. Thanks. Okay, let's check these over. Fire, fire, top hat, ice, ice, poison, poison, fire, fire, lightning, lightning, poison, poison, fear, fear, fire, fire, ice, ice, lightning, lightning, poison, poison, fear, fear. Fire, fire, ice, ice, lightning, lightning, fear, fear. Okay. Those are good for now. So now we need to start creating some, some graphics and stuff for this and then testing these out. Yeah, you are. All right, let's start giving the player every single, well... Let's just do the art. Let's do the art first. So I think the first thing to draw will be these elements. So we've got fire started right here. This is like fire in a cube or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I 
Let's give the player fire. Oh, and these are no longer called orbs. This is the fire blink. All right. Looks like I have some bug that keeps on putting my secrets in depth. That's weird. Yeah, that's it. That looks really cool. This fire cube like that. It's like it doesn't look that great. It doesn't look as great in the um in the menu, but once you put it in here, it looks awesome. Is the orange gonna be in the game again? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, orange was oranges were originally your health, but maybe the, maybe a slice of orange will be some kind of cool item. That uh, is fire. Clear container. All right, let's duplicate this and create some ice. Oh yeah. Oh, thanks, Lipazen. <laughs> Notepad minus minus is now a thing. Boogie. Oh, dude. In 24 hours, Boogie started Notepad minus minus. How did my how did my Safari window get like this? I don't know what the heck happened. Yes. <laughs> a little about Notepad minus minus. Offers you a text editor like none other. You'll feel right at home with its MS DOS edit style user interface. <laughs> oh yeah, you won't be overwhelmed by complicated menus and toolbars because there are none. It doesn't even ask if you want to save changes. Yes, man. Oh, yes. <laughs> so rad. <laughs> Oh, show toolbar. Oh, there it is. Somehow I got my toolbar hidden. Well, you, you're, dude, you are a saint. Thank you, man. Thank you. The whole world thanks you. Sweet. Yeah, the oranges used to be your health, but I think I might make them into some other item. Oh, Froom. Oh, rad idea. Oranges can heal you from poison. Froom, thank you. Oh, bomb idea. This is going on the ideas list. Thanks, Froom. Oranges, there you go. That's it. Oranges heal you from poison. If you get poisoned. Just squirt it in their enemy's eyes. <laughs> Alright, Boogie, see you, man. All right, caviar. Yeah, I know what you. I know. Lots of y'all got homework and other stuff to do. So, cheers, man. Okay, let's make some ice get encapsulated in here. <laughs> Serious creeper. Beautiful idea. Just give the oranges arms and legs and make them show up instead of enemies when using the shrooms. It's awesome idea. All right, this is going to be a new layer based slice, and we're going to call this slice the item. I whoa, item ice. Man, I got to turn the light on. It's kind of dark today. It's dark and cloudy, dark and stormy. Make them juiced up. <laughs> They're getting juiced, man. Getting juiced.
All right, Jonah. Good night, man. Good night, Nostrobot. See you guys. Thanks for saying hi. See you next time. Oh, and yeah, once again, I'm not streaming the rest of the weekend. I got a wedding to go to, so I will see you guys Monday if you're around. I like this. This is pretty good. Let's put a little dark element right there so it kind of gives it some 3D. Alright, cool. Got some ice. Let's um, render that. Yeah, wedding. I know, it's going to be a party though, I'm telling you. I'm going to come back on Monday and be like, oh my god, you guys, I can't code today. I got to make all art. Only art today. Let's t okay, yeah, we just want to test out having just ice. Oh, also I need to, I need to do all these text file stuff. I think this might be an error because there's no text file for this. We'll see. Or maybe it'll just be blank. Probably just be blank. Okay, cool. Yeah, we got some ice. Elemental ice in a convenient cube. All right. Cool. Ice. Done. Let's do another one. Wait a minute. Ah, there. Duplicate those layers. Oh, sorry, Froom. Well, Froom, there's always um, there's always the uh, the YouTube. Thanks, Dodgewell. Yeah, if you haven't seen my YouTube archive, it's got every day of development of this. So maybe if I, you know, if I'm gonna be gone this weekend, you can always check out YouTube. See Nat Weiss. It's got like all my videos and stuff. All right. So what's next? Um, what should we make next? Let's make it actually let's do this a little bit faster. Let's do let's create all the containers we're gonna use. We've got um, fire, ice, lightning, poison, fear for now. We might have another element eventually. I'm not sure. I kinda wanna keep the elements kind of down to four or five or six max. Ice, lightning, poison, fear. Okay, we got enough now. So now we can create, make all these things new slices. Batching. This is a technique called batching for doing things faster. Rapid game development. Batch things together. Ice, lightning, poison, fear. I wonder what fear is going to look like. Just black. It has nothing in it. Item ice. This is item lightning. Oh, that was fear. Thomas, what's up, man? Doing great, dude. Just working on some items and stuff. Items, item combos, elements. That one's poison. Whoop, wait, did I change? Ah, that's lightning. Poison. Oh, wait. Oh, did I? Yeah, that was fear. Oh. Uh, 
Oh yeah, these are all good. And this one's gonna be item fear. Okay, so let's draw some lightning in here. Ooh, a scared face? Mmm, interesting idea. All right, yeah. Hmm. That could definitely work. Good call, Mighty Nest. Lightning. I'm going to start with a white. Maybe slightly saturated. Yeah, let's go slightly saturated. Yellowish. Go turn off these slices so we can actually draw. Hmm, yeah, something like this maybe. I'll have to see. A black skull? Yeah, that could work too. Oh yeah, hurt by fear if people's enemies scream. Core, yeah, that could work. Or black cloud. I like the face and skull. That's a, that's kind of cool um, way to go with it. Let's do a duplicate of that and then blur it. Mm, that wasn't as powerful as I wanted it. Gaussian blur gets kind of weaker when it gets bigger. One point two looks all right. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and draw the other two and then throw them all in the game. Let's actually add them to the saves right now. And so I can view them all at once and then make edits all at once as well. So save some time. Poison, fear. Poison, probably a green. It's looking a little too solid. How do you get poison? You get you actually find this element called poison. It's here. It's in a container like this, and then you take the poison and you can craft it. So so let's tone down these shadows and highlights. Actually, we can yeah, we'll just do it the the easy way. I'm going to move this this into a darker hue. That was a bit much. Yeah, there. Okay, and then this highlight as well. It's a bit too highlighty.
Cool. I think it's all overall that kind of needs a little more darkness now. The sprite atlases, do I create them manually? Um, you mean the sprite sheets? I think you, I think what you mean is the sprite sheets. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I use texture packer. Sorry, I'm just using my own my own terminology here and stuff. But yeah, I use this thing called texture packer, which basically takes all of my sprites and combines them into one sheet. So like there's tons and tons and tons of sprites in this thing and uh, they all get packed down into one single texture and then Kogos 2DX has this thing which reads a property list which will tell me exactly what pixel position and size and width of a single sprite within a texture. So basically you save a ton of texture memory by doing all your sprites this way. I guess that's, I think, I hope that is what you meant. If not, please let me know what you meant and I'll, I'll try and clarify. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Texture packer for sure. And there's all there's other ones too. There's um what's the other one? Zwaptex. There's one called Zwaptex. I prefer texture packer myself. And I know the guy that makes um texture packer. He's pretty he's a great coder, so I trust what he does. I want this to be a little darker. It's poison. There we go. That's good enough for now. And then, yeah, let's do some fear. I guess the skull would be pretty cool. Okay, cool. Is texture packer free? No, it's actually not. Um, I think it's free for um, like small files or something like that. There's like a free version or whatever. But um, if you really want to use it, it's like 20 bucks or something like that or 30 or something like that to get texture packer for. So, I mean, it's, you know, pretty inexpensive. Whoa, yeah, yeah, it's definitely a pain to do that by hand. And what's super sweet about Texture Packer is I, I got this script, right, which runs every time I run my game or build my game, it runs this script, right? Um, it increments a build version, but then it goes and updates all the sprite sheets. So this bit of code right here um, calls Texture Packer. So basically for each, for each one of my sprite sheets, they're all TPS files. It runs the command texture packer with that texture packer's file. So what that was great about that is if the if the file needs updating, so if a single ping file has been updated, it will go and automatically. There you go. There's one that would actually it automatically just recompiled the the common sprite sheet, and I didn't have to do anything because I already have this this script set up. So basically, texture packer is a pretty cool tool, not only from uh you know it's like actual UI so you can actually create sprite sheets but I, basically once I've created my sprite sheet I don't ever need to run texture packer because it runs from the command line so it's a pretty handy tool nice right on yeah cool man you're making progress on the game good for you nano awesome right yeah, scripts, man. Mm. The sounds pack, no, they're not. But they are MP3s, and also I'm considering to start using FMOD. Thanks to Wistaso for pointing this out. But if you haven't seen FMOD, it's actually pretty cool. Basically, I can create infinite songs. I can create a song that has randomness inside of it, or is based on the intensity level of the game or whatever kind of parameter you can put in your game. It's like adding it's like adding another dimension to your sounds instead of having four dimensional sound, which would be 3D space and one temporal dimension. You've got a fifth dimension which has to do with your game, so the intensity factor can like completely change your song. So you can play certain sound effects in your in your song only if there's certain intensity or whatever. So God, it's like a really rad concept, and it also makes your um, makes your sound files packed into sound sound banks and stuff. 
Yes, show us. All right, so let's draw um let's draw a skull, a black skull for now. What do we got here? This is like a black orange. Yeah, let's do it there. It's pretty it's perfect, dude. I don't even have to change it. It's just done. <laughs> <laughs> that's over nine thousand, yeah. Sanic. Over. Uh. Oh, we were saying good for you, and also we want to see a, a screenshot if you got one. Oh, man, that doesn't look that good. You can put it on Imager. How do I make it change color automatically? What, what are you talking about? You mean in the game, or are you talking about here in Photoshop, or what? So I'm gonna go ahead and cheat here and use a skull image and just scale it down really, really big, really small, and then that way I can see the right proportions without having to. I like this one with only that without its bottom jaw. All it needs is a four by four eyes, and you're good. Oh, this thing must be huge. Uh. Oh, it changed from black to gray? It's because I have two layers. I have a layer on top, which was changing the overall color there. Sorcerer, sorcerer, yes, yes, I'm a sorcerer. Okay, let's change the whole HUD to just this skull. So awesome. Oh, quit rotating, I don't want to rotate. And this is crazy hard work. This is like taking longer than drawing it by hand for sure. So there, it's now really small. Oh, it did bicubic. Undo. Okay, so basically I want this thing to be about 10 pixels wide, maybe nine, nine or eight pixels wide. Let's make it that many pixels. Eight pixels wide. Um, let's do trim off this excess pixels here.
No, no worries, man. Cool, inanimate. Nice, right on. Good for you, man. Keep going, we want to see more. Yeah, I'm, I'm rooting for you, dude. I can't wait to see your game. There, that's kind of the smallest it's going to be able to get without changing it too much. Okay, and let's uh, simplify the colors a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Huh? What? What? There we go. Now we got a nice skull. You can sort of just like, you know, hand edit it like that. Boom. Now, okay, so I wanted to kind of make it blackish and, you know, sort of like, I guess, yeah, a little darker than this. Let's make it something a little just more black-like. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Sweet, dude, you're making a Diablo S game? Oh, Diablo is so great. You've seen Ader, right? I hope they're a big inspiration for you. Yes, oh, I love Isometric. Nice job, Mighty Ness, dude, this is rad. Awesome, dude, nice line of sight. You got movement, you got chests. You got a lot done already. Whoa, enemies? <laughs> there's a, dude, there's a horde of green men. Oh, Greg, get no. no, get away, get away. Are they zombies or are they like, are they aliens? Yeah, fight, fight. Oh, dude, punch dance on these guys. Punch dance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, nobody can take me down. No way. I don't even lose any health. This is awesome. Dude. Good job, Mighty Ness. Seriously. That's a lot of work you got done on that already. Yeah, 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 I, I saw it, man. Yeah, totally. Nano, I saw your link, totally. Hey, what's up, EVO? Uh, no, I'm just going to leave it how it is. I like how I ended up uh, drawing it. All right, Thomas, see you, man. Ooh, nice, nice, nice suggestions.
<laughs> nice, nice, dude. Nice, nice punch sound effect. All right, cool. So I want to make this darker. Something like that. Okay, so let's check this out, see how it's looking. And we'll run it. We've got all these items in the inventory, so we can go check them out, see them. P Wally, what's up, man? Cool, yeah, I like this. Fire looks good, ice looks good, lightning. I think I can give, the, I can make the lightning maybe a little more 3D. Poison too, poison doesn't look very 3D. The skull maybe needs to be a little smaller actually. Or at least a little more round, the more 3D for sure. I'll make that more look more 3D. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I had in mind to clean it up the whole time, yeah. Uh, Niceros, yeah, I'm pretty much, um, I'm probably going to leave the saves.txt readable. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe I'll actually try and obfuscate it a little bit, but in general, I want the game to be very hackable. So I don't, I'm not really worried about people hacking their own save games because um, if they want to do that, let, let so be it. But yeah, I mean, I could see the point of, of not making it too easy to change your, your game. So, I mean, it's easy to add a whole obfuscation layer or maybe just even base 36 or rot 13, any of those, any of those standard simple. So the lightning really needed um, sort of to be more 3D, so I can make it kind of look like it's connecting to the top. I think maybe just that one pixel is all I needed there. So ice look good, lightning needed more 3D. This poison droplet really needs to be more 3D, more... How can I accomplish that? The skull was pretty easy to make more 3D if I just take off that corner, that top corner there. Leave that corner though, yeah. Poison, it's just too simple. They look Stormtrooper? <laughs> Ah, good point, right? Oh yeah, I could save it as binary data. Cool. Yeah, I'm definitely more wet looking for sure. It's right now it just looks not very wet. Yeah, you definitely be able to mod this game because it's going to be um, all data driven. So basically, all, you're not going to have to modify any of the C++ code to mod the game. All you got to do is just change the data, the text files. Let's get some inspiration for a droplet of water. What up, gutting?
That's kind of a cool one. Okay, but I wonder I got I wonder what it would be like if I just search for poison. What are they going to give me? Danger, poison, danger. Danger Will Robinson, poison. This is not talking about poison. Ew. Nice! Oh, dude, that's rad! Nice muzzle flare! Limp is in. Limp is in. This is super cool. Yeah, dude. You are well on your way to making some rad art. Cool. Ooh, or, yeah. Huh. Yeah, sexy girls. Oh, yeah. Man, dude, I should search for poison more often. Okay, let's do let's do this. Let's make it really small. I'll do a reference image this time instead of like instead of doing it the way I just did it, where I kind of just like squished them down. I'm actually gonna draw it myself, but but by reference. Oops, whoa. Just doing a rough outline here. Yeah, see there. That's it needed more contrast basically. It needed a lot more of these darker colors contrasted with these super bright colors. See that gets all the way to white and almost all the way to black. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh man. Use a magic wand. I know. I should have. Yeah, I hear you. Now it's a water drop and not an eyeball. Yes, exactly. Do not want that thing to be an eyeball. What? Eyeball? No. Eyeball? Come on, eyeball. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to just draw it myself, but using these colors as reference. Poison. Put this like... Whoa. Whoa, what, what are you looking at? What, what, what link? Oh, you're learning to model voxel? Cool, man. Awesome. Okay, so you, you did a model of this, or you're doing a game that's, that's using this? It's cool, man, for sure. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs>
right? Yeah, that is pretty important, right, Niceros? Good point. They're up to interpretation. Fighter Thief. Good call. Yellow Green. I was thinking, okay, so I thought of using a deeper green, more of a bluish green, because I wanted it to look deeper and more dangerous. But you're right, maybe that yellow green would actually be better for the highlights or. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's um let's make let's select with a, a wide tolerance the lighter colors in here. And let's change just though their hue so we get kind of uh, some color depth in here. Not too much, but yeah, maybe there. Cool, good call, Lighter Thief, thanks again. Yeah, cool, you're making your own engine, rad. Yeah. Ah, uh, glue. You're saying up the satch on all of it? Let's try that. Ooh, oh, oh, yeah. Ooh. Love it. Nice. Good call. All right, let's start over on this. Yeah. I guess we can maybe get a bigger droplet of this stuff. Make it look a little more 3D. Yeah. All right, let's do this. Thanks for following. Hope you're enjoying the stream. If anybody's just joining the stream, and you're like, what the hell is this? This is a game called Songbringer, and it's coming out in a few months for Steam. And it's also coming on iOS 
possibly retro VGS, some other things. Okay, let's see it in the game. You never know until you put it in the game if it really looks good. In fact, uh, this kind of makes me want to change all the containers and make them a little more, a um, little more at the right angle. Ooh, cool. Still liking fire. Ice. Ice could maybe use one more pixel. Lightning. Oh, man. See that? Just that one pixel in the lightning made it look so much better. And then the... Yeah. Okay. So the, the poison... What does it need? What does it need? It's like it needs more contrast almost. The skull looks okay. Actually, I'm thinking... These need bigger containers. Maybe. Hmm. I'm going to experiment with a... Alright, Nano. See ya, man. I'm going to experiment with bigger containers. I think this could make the, the poison especially look better. Full yellow? Okay. Let's try it. Ooh, let's, uh, I'll combine it with um, another layer so we can get a cool effect. Whoops. Lost my color. What is a matrix? Oh man, <laughs> there's no way I can answer your question in today's stream. Cause oh man, matrices are, they are tricky, dude. They're basically something that, that allows you to change, to multiply a point. So you, you're gonna have a vector that has three points, X, Y, and Z. A matrix is four by four, so there's 16 numbers inside a matrix, but a matrix allows you to apply rotation, scaling, and transforming um, on a, the position, what's that called again? Offsetting or whatever. It allows you to put all of those effects into one single matrix. So a single matrix can rotate, scale, and translate. That's what's called translate. So you can put all those into one matrix, and that allows you to do 3D transformations a lot more efficiently than you would without so you're gonna have to read up on this concept though because i'm really not doing it justice to explain what a matrix is or how to how to um how to use them oh now it's ice all right cool well that's that's good it is open to interpretation right yeah okay well let's try it with uh bigger containers and stuff Thanks for following. Linear burn. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Darker color.
Linear burn. I like linear burn and darker color. Linear burn's kind of cool. All right, so if I went with a slightly bigger clear container, actually, let's just do it. Hmm. What up, fun? Yeah, I think this might be translation, right? I forget how they work. It's like you put your rotation here in the corner, I think, and translation there. Maybe scales this bottom left row. I don't know. I think it's something like that. It depends on it depends on your orientation of matrices too. Sometimes you can be orienting it up or down, left or right. I mean, there's so many. It's a it's a very complex thing. I would recommend soaking up a little bit of information about them every night before you go to bed for like a week, just keep reading up about matrices, 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 and vectors and all that until you kind of soaked it up a bunch and then it's easier. Yeah. To never can, please. <laughs> uh. Okay, so I just experimented with a one pixel bigger on these containers to see if that looks any better, but I only did it on the skull, so. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's definitely do that for the poison, ice, fire, maybe not lightning. I kind of like lightning the size it is. Yeah, that's good. That one pixel made a big difference, but the it's weird because the lightning doesn't look any... Wait a minute, did this even change? The lightning and the, the poison look exactly the same size. Did I mess that up? No, I didn't. This one looks good. Yeah. Okay, what happened? HUD, HUD.
I can totally tell this is one pixel too small. Yeah. It does. Yeah, I added a, a blend shader to it so it's a little different. And in fact, I'm going to make it look even better when I do a, um, some levels. So I'll show you what I mean in, in, uh, in Photoshop. But yeah, watch as I move a little bit to the north. You can see the co the main light gets gets follows the player. So as I move down here, you can see there's less brightness up in the sh up in those clouds, the fog. But I move up here, and there's a little more brightness up here. So it's kind of based on the lights. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's supposed to be as big as the other one. So I'm really confused. I don't know why it's not updating. Oh. I'll show you this too. Just to do, I want to do a um, screenshot of that. I can show you what I mean, what, I, what I'm going to do eventually with these screens. These kind of darker scenes can really benefit with more levels. And I've already got this built into my shader, so all I got to do is update a few values and boom. So that should be an easy fix. But yeah, so check this out if I add a little bit of levels. Especially right here, you can tell right away when you look at the levels heuristics of this. Most of the colors are really low. So if I just move that like this, you can see so much more brightness coming out of it. You're, you're packing the same colors. So you're packing your colors into more of a... Uh, you're broadening out your heuristics, basically. So if I turn it off, that's what it looks like now. This is what it'll look like if I just up the, the levels a little bit. So it'll look a lot better. Oh, in Photoshop it is? Did I did I miss poison? Is that why? That would totally explain it. That's 12 by 12. And that's 12 by 12. Yeah, they're exactly the same size. Huh. So that doesn't explain why it's coming out this way in the, in the game. Oh, it is the same size. Oh, because this one is a green row. It's got a green background. So you can see through that pixel a little bit. That's all. Okay, you know what? These are good enough. These are good enough. I need to move on. There's any I got way more stuff I need to do today. So this is cool. We got and you know four new items drawn. Let's make sure and there's some text hooked up and stuff. Oh, thanks for pointing that out, Olympus. And seriously, like that might have been the issue. Yeah. So thanks for mentioning it. Okay, so yeah, let's let's move on with doing the combos and stuff like that. Uh, one thing we need some text for these items. If, oh wait, do we already have it? Maybe not. I oh yeah, I already did all these. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Cool. We got those done. Um. We need to do the top hats. There is what kind of top hats are there again? Fire, ice, and poison top hats. Cool. 3D. Got the fire swords, the blinks. What was the other one? Bombs. We gotta get more bombs.
Yeah, thanks, man. I mean, well, it looks like good progress, right? But I still haven't even gotten the one thing on my list done today yet, so this is how it goes. Sometimes you get four things done in a day, and sometimes it takes all day just to do one. But anyways, this is a big thing, having the items um, kind of distributed across the world and being able to be combined and all that stuff is really going to uh, improve the depth of this game and make it more fun and stuff, so even for the alpha version that's coming out right now this month, so... Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. I like that, Mighty Ness. I'm going to add that to the ideas list. Unlocking different jib looks. Yeah, that's easy, too. He's really easy to draw, so... That's like one I can say for sure. That's a definite possibility without even costing too much time. Okay, we got fire bomb, lightning bomb, poison bomb, fear bomb. Fire, lightning, poison, fear. Yeah, yeah. And some of those items will, um, um, some of those can affect him too, so maybe make him faster or able to find more items or whatever, you know? Lightning bomb. The Mexican. Yeah, with Mexican hat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. They do add up to a big check off, right? Once that's one thing is done, it's like, man. Mini turret. There's been there's been so many of these suggestions already to give him weapons. Um, yeah, so he could there's there's the mini the mini sword, um, mini laser. So he'll definitely have something. I'm thinking he's probably gonna have a stun effect. All right, cool. Time to start combining. <laughs> uh, so turret is the thing, huh? We'll have to do like one of those school, those pole things. Which weapon weapon jib should have? Or maybe there'll be all, multiple. Maybe I'll do all of those. And some worlds will have some, and some won't. Okay, so now we, let's test the combos. Let's um, let's take let's make it so we can combine the top hat with all those stuffs and the bombs and the ghost sword and the blink. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the player's um fire blink item. I want to give him the straight up blink. He's already got the bomb, fire, ice, lightning. All we need is the blink, the top hat, and the bomb. Those are the ones I want to test. And the ghost sword. Oh yeah, the ghost sword. Set that to one. Fire sword, zero. All right, let's make this happen. So we got to go out to the overworld, warp back to the. I could have just I could have just warped the player manually, but let's just do it. And we can save the game here. What? We gotta crash. Oh my god, we gotta crash. <gasps> what? 
HUD selection. I don't think that's should be wrong. HUD selection. I didn't change that. <laughs> we do. Houston, what's wrong? What happened here? Let's check the proper let's check okay, so I'm looking at the property list for the actual um common. Oh, we want to look at is it HUD? No, it's all in it's in common. Okay, so it's HUD selection. Oh, look at that. There's no HUD selection. Well, that explains something. Unless it's in backgrounds. Nope. What? Huh. Wait, I did do a search for it, right? Yeah, it's not in any of the property lists. Oh, well, where'd you go? Where was that? Nothing? But I had fear. Nothing? Oh. I lost the whole fear thing. Where'd it go? It's gotta be in sprites somewhere. HUD, maybe? No, it's like a background, I thought. It's just like this thing that says fear. Fear. PSD. So weird. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I forgot to read it like an astronaut. Seriously, what happened? This was like, this was there yesterday, I swear. Oh man, no, oh, so confusing. Maybe I can just test it anyways. Hmm. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> that's not it either. Ah, <whistles> uh, which one's the sword? Or the, the ship? Everything was going so well until now. Ship Z. Negative 50, that's what I thought. Oh, I need to be at zero or one, one, negative 50. That's where that is. Or might as well go to one, two. Okay, just whatever you do, don't pause the game. All right, let's test this out. So we've got combos. We obviously can't craft. 
the teleport cube, or the cactus. There's the bomb. Let's try... Okay, let's try the hat. Oh, the hat needs to... The hat definitely needs to be able to be combined, so... Component, um, top hat. Item top hat needs the craftable flag. Here we go. So the top hat can now be crafted with other stuff. Do I have a version? Yeah, git. Yep. Bam. I check in two or three times a day for sure. Essential. Totally essential tool. Bomb hat? No, there's no bomb hat com combination yet. But he does have a pretty bomb hat, right? There we go. Top hat. Whoops. No, don't tell me you're broken. He's broken. I broke him. Why aren't you moving, dude? Oh, uh, I broke him. Well, I guess maybe what I'll do today, I'll fix him tonight, and I'll make it. Just, I'll start drawing these, like the flaming hat, the icy hat, the poison hat, and all that. I host my own. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's definitely essential to have it somewhere that's not just on my own laptop, for sure. I don't wanna, you know, if I ever lost my laptop, I would definitely not wanna lose a year's worth of progress on a video game I've been working on. So, essential, essential tools. What's up, it's Suds? It's going good. It's kind of weird I'm running into some crazy bugs here, but I'm just going to focus on the art anyways. I'm working on items and item combos right now, so I'm going to draw a hat that's on fire. Make a flaming hat, an icy hat, a light or a poison hat, that kind of stuff. And then bombs also will be able to be changed. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, it's up to you. All right, so first I'll draw The fire hat. I might as well batch this. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I gotta get this stuff done. It's on my list. This is very important stuff for this uh, this release. So fire, regular fire. I think there's four top hats or something. Fire, ice, poison. Yeah, they do. They even make a nice free um, Git viewer called Source Tree. 
I use that sometimes when I need a, a visual view on my repo. Repos. Yeah, it is pretty good. It's probably better than I even know because I don't really use it that much. Oh, Tig, all right. Tig. <laughs> Great name. I wonder if Brew has it. Oh, yeah, there's Tig. Sweet, I could get Tig. Nice. Huh? Did I register Wizard Foo? Yeah, I did. The Songbringer? I should. How can I make that for some names I have? You mean, how do you register your names? Well, if you create a corporation, actually, if you create any product and you start sharing your product online and making it commercially available. So my game became commercially available when I started the Kickstarter, basically. Um, so and now it's on Humble Bundle, so it's totally commercially available. So technically, I have Songbringer as a copyright of my uh, my company. Um, you can also file it too if you want if you really do want to go through all the rigmarole you can technically file it with the the government what your government or my government whatever whatever your government is um, but basically there's a really there's an easier way to do it too if you want to actually register the trademark you can do that but I would recommend using a service to do that but you know you could do it yourself too but yeah just look up copyright trademark law that kind of stuff. Oh, oh, thanks, Ladder Thief. Oh, very cool. Nice, man. That looks great. You got into it, yeah. Because you're such a good artist, man. You inspire me. Look at that. Ladder Thief just drew that. Thanks, man. Oh, you did? Well, there you go. Cool. I'm going to keep this window open so I can maybe use that as a reference image. Oh, I see. You're using like a darker color there in the middle to make it look more cool. <clears throat> <laughs> Yeah. Dude, Azariz wants to draw. Azariz. You can draw, man. Draw. Draw whatever you want, man.
Yeah. Whoa, you did 67 pages in a half an hour? Oh, you have to do 67 pages. Oh, all right, man. Good luck, Javier. Um, actually, the hat itself, yes, it will actually catch on fire. It's um, It will kind of create a fiery stream. saves okay so i'm just gonna manually give the fire top hat It does, right? Just adding sounds. Juice, too, man. I'm telling you, juice is going to really help your game pop so much. Juice it up, man. Particles. Screen shakes, that kind of stuff. Cool. <laughs> that looks kind of good. I don't know. It might need more contrast, though, to, against that greener background. Or I could just tone down the green background. Uh, yes, I will definitely continue streaming for another um, year. This is a whole other year. So January comes out, but there's a whole other year of porting it to other platforms and adding more content. And no, there's never going to be any DLCs, no in-app purchases. It's entirely free updates. So free updates for a whole year, just making the game better and better and better. Seath, man, what's up? It's true. Particles are life. Particles make things come to life. So I'm going to tone down this green checkered background. I think that'll help. <laughs> no in-app purchases? <laughs> What's the fun then? How am I supposed to beat the game without even trying? Oh man. I pressed the kill the game bug button. <sighs> what happened to those... All that art? It's like not even in the repo. I guess it must have been stuck in some other file for a long time and then finally when I clean things up, I don't know. That looks a little better. Hmm. I don't know whether I should lighten it or or just leave it as it is now, those green squares in the middle, they almost look a little bit too dark, but that might be just because I was used to the old darker ones, or lighter ones. Yeah. Yeah, how am I supposed to play a game without ads, huh? You're not giving my, me my ads fix? Jeez. Here, outline, there. I just noticed I want to change these colors here. Just slightly.
Cool, thanks, Iron Thief. <laughs> Oh yeah, themes. Yeah, I it would be a great for a Halloween theme for sure. Let's see if those tiny improvements helped. Just made that top bar a little darker and kind of played with the sides of the the bottom one, so it kind of like makes it a little more unique. Yeah, that's cool. All right, we got a flaming top hat. Let's do let's do the next ones. Ice top hat and the poison. <clears throat> I don't know, man. I kind of like your art the way it is. I gotta say, he's growing on me. Your character. I don't know if I could, I can, I'm not sure if I could imagine him drawing any other way now. But that's just me. Ah, uh, I get you. Yeah, I, I finally noticed that, that I actually have an inbox on Twitch. I finally wrote, back, wrote a lot of you guys back. You guys wrote me messages like months ago. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, but I think there's a trick to it. Like, for some reason, it was putting everybody's messages in the spam folder. And so I went and disabled the spam folder. So hopefully that makes it so I actually get email notifications because I have never gotten a single email no notification from Twitch, like of an of an in of something in my inbox. So I wonder what that's about.
Whoa, I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> I like that. It's like you can almost not really tell what it is, but it's kind of cool. Maybe I'll do a little bit of allowing a little bit of transparency on that to allow it to shine through a little bit. Yeah, that just that tiny touch that helps. Oh, can't use this item yet. Haven't written it, but at least it's there. It's craftable. Whoops. Turn that back on. This layer here with the ice. All right, next one. We got a poisonous top hat, and I'm gonna use Lighter Thief's art as a reference. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna redraw this poison. I'm gonna try a different look on it. So, you, so I'll, I'll back up this layer. Wait, uh, not that one. That layer. Let's try Lighter Thief's color scheme. Lighter Thief. So good. Yeah. Ah, see, I get you, I get you. Yeah, I like the way you made an example here using this green to kind of show that this poison does kind of come out this poisonous aspect of it does look better with the yellow. Very cool, Lighter Thief. So I'm going to use Lighter Thief's palette. With this shape here. I like the way you use this darker green color on the bottom. Really helps bring it out. Yeah, totally. Right, to make something light, you don't always have to go to white. True. I'm learning, I'm learning. And you know what? You've really helped me learn and grow as an artist. You deserve a lot of thanks for that. Thanks, Lighter Thief. Cheers. All the tutorials you pointed out and little examples you've showed me along the way. I appreciate you, man. Thanks.
right, let's get these side by side now. And we can compare before, after. Yeah, you see what I mean? Definitely this one that I, I drew is a lot less saturated. Let's see it inside the container. Yeah, cool. Let's see it in the game. It, let's see it because sometimes it might need to be a little less saturated slightly for this type of game for the the aesthetic I'm going for. But I don't know. We'll see. Definitely, yeah. Lighter thief to the rescue once again. Oh yeah, for sure. That's 10 times better. Thanks, Lighter Thief, once again. That's awesome looking now. Looks so good. Yeah, definitely, yeah, I know. Sometimes it's more desaturated, but that totally worked. It worked, but I think maybe just adding that Slightly clear container on top also helped. There's one pixel though, it's kind of bugging me here. It's this right there that was kind of bugging me. Cool, all right, and that means I can draw a better poison top hat with this color scheme too. So let's call this pull poison old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What, what is this a quote from something? You still having a problem with the, the skull? I can redo that too. Oh, it's a Tom Waits song. Ah. Oh. Uh-huh, it blends together too much. Maybe it does need to be lighter, because I remember I, I darkened it. Whoa. I didn't mean this. <laughs> yeah, let's try it a little brighter. Where'd that thing go? Here we go. So, I'll put it back to kind of how it was. Right. I wonder if this would look good, this poison hop hat with, uh, with a little bit of its brown still in there. It's like it's just been covered in this stuff, slimy, poisony stuff. It looks like a skull with sunglasses. <laughs> oh yeah, mightiness. If it is gonna drip, it might as well drip, right?
à. Uh, saves we want to turn on the poison top hat now and yeah I think I'm gonna have to go take a break now guys man I'm, I'm freaking tired and hungry I gotta get myself some dinner and take a break from code oh that does look cool with some drips coming off of it I do think okay. So now that it's now that this this color scheme is actually man, it does look good. I'm tempted to leave it as it is, but I also I think it one needs to blend slightly with the brown top hat beneath it. Slightly desaturated. This is quite. It's just a tiny bit off from the aesthetic. Sweet man, is this a is this what you're working on or is this a Minecraft thing? Oh, you're making a static shader? Cool. I know. Oh Yeah, that's a, this is the one for the ideas list. Oh, static shader like it gives you staticky look. I get it. Ah, cool, cool. Awesome, man. Static shader, right on. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good technique. I like that. There, yeah, I, I have those same times, man, when I'm not really feeling that creative, but I do want to be productive. There, okay, so it's just toning it down that slight bit makes it more kind of fit in this world a little bit. Okay, so before I go, let me try one more time to see if I can get the uh, skull to look a tiny bit better. I think it just needs a, a few more pixels on the bottom. Oh yeah, uh, cool. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I like that. I think it's better. Looks more skull-like now. A little longer in the, in the face or whatever. All right, yeah, so that's it for today's video. I'm going to get some dinner. Oh, man, my belly is ready for some food. But, yeah, that's it for today's stream. Um, And, unfortunately, I got a wedding to go to. Not, not unfortunately, because it's going to be an awesome wedding. But, unfortunately, I won't be streaming this weekend. So, yeah, I'll see you all. I'll be back on Monday. And, once again, streaming, I'll probably be right at about the same spot as I was when I left today. Because I'm not going to have much time to work this weekend or whatever. But, so, yeah. Good night. Good night. Sleep tight. And, uh, we'll see you all.